What's up guys, Sans7 here, and this video is all about how to make cash and why you should be making cash in CSR Racing 2. Now first off, never buy cash. I know some of you probably have, and we've all made mistakes, especially after you wake up the next morning and think, what the fuck did I just do? Hell, in the last game I played, I re-rolled a 5-5 five five revive, drew it. I didn't remember doing it, that's terrible. That's like a two grand mistake, if you're unlucky. All right. Let's get into the video. Now, I want to talk about why I'm making this one versus going into the free-to-play account. Well, the free-to-play account is gone. Issue switching with the account actually copied this account onto it. Now, those of you that are wanting a free-to-play account, well, this game, honestly, guys, it's, it's not that complicated. Any issues you have, put them in the comments, and I will go through them and specifically either answer them in the comments or make a video about them. One of the comments I had was asking about a tune for an NSX. I have yet to hear back whether you meant the LB NSX or the regular NSX. It's one that I would love to tune up, but I don't want to spend the cash on both of them. Now, how do you make cash? Why do you want to make cash? And well, of course, you want to make cash to tune your cars, right? Yeah, but you also want to make RP to help your crew. And that, that's a big part of the game. So I, what I've noticed is a lot of people spend too much time worrying about RP for the game. Once your crew has hit 20 million, such as our crew, you can take a look, we've hit it, and we got the prize card. That, that's what you want. You can look at the prizes. I mean, the difference between 500 and 200, I mean, it's nothing. It's not worth, it's, it, it's just not worth the time. Your crew could be spending time better spent earning resources for the game, such as gold, if you need gold or cash, because you're always going to need cash. You always want to upgrade cards, because really, guys, this game, in the end, it's not as much a racing game as it is a car collecting and upgrading game. And as many cars as I have, I want to upgrade them. Look at all these cars. The Tier 5s, they're what six million plus the fusions it's seven eight million to get them fully maxed out so i need a, i want to put 100 million in my bank account i know how to do it and i've seen some other videos on youtube about these great money tunes and yes i have a money tune for a specific car now that yeah it'll never lose but it's not the right tune what making money in live racing is all about and winning that two hundred thousand dollar bet is having the right tune for the right lobby you don't want to be beating the cars by four seconds you're just going to get bumped into the faster lobbies that's what's going to kill you now let's go ahead and take a look at this car real quick right now what i'm running is yes it's pay to play and yes i will be doing a free to play version of either the mclaren the Hurricane Lamborghini or the F12 Ferrari? You guys let me know in the comments whichever one y'all want the most. That's the one that I will spend the time like I have spent on this one, which I have over 100 different tunes for this car, for all live racing tunes to make money. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, this is my initial tune when the car is set and it's running in the lobby time of its dyno. As you can see, 56 fusion parts. Now, if anyone wants the specific info on this car, if you have all these parts, let me know and I can send you that info. But for this video's purpose, I'm not going to scroll through it. All I'm going to let you know is I'm not using any S6 parts initially to start off. That's as long as I'm in my starting lobby. As you race and as you keep making 200 grand and you're racing these fast times to make sure you're winning every race, you are gonna get bumped up, so you are gonna have to change that tune. But in the beginning, you're gonna want a tune that fits your lobby. Now, the tune I have right now, you can see I'm in a lobby that runs at 12301. And real quick, just gonna run through it, just show you the numbers. Again, the dyno is 12301. And what this card runs is 11.3 and change. That's running it perfectly and I'm not even going to show a test run why I'll show it to you in live racing now I'm only going to do one live race and I'm not even going to worry about the betting right now because when it comes to learning how to get people to actually give you their money because people will give you their money they're very willing there are a number of methods and well 
One of the things is the 12.3 lobby. There's a reason I start here. It's because I am looking to race tier four cars. NSX's Rocket Bunnies, they run faster than their dinos. They are expecting to be able to beat almost every car they see. And when I see a tier four car and I'm in the 12.3 lobby with this tune, they have no chance. Unless I fuck up, I'm not losing. Now the drop has to be a little late, at, or a little early at one. Nitrous is instant, sounds a little early, but I can be sloppy. And I have been up for like 24 hours. I've just started drinking a bit of moonshine, but I am golden for this video. You can see, easy win. I ran it four, six, seven. I don't want to run faster than that. I can throw in a tune where I can run 10-3, but all that's going to do is throw me up faster. I don't want to get up. I want to stay in this lobby as long as I can. Now, this is the 12-3 lobby, and you'll notice that an NSX is running well, about 0.3 seconds below it. One of the things you're going to notice is different cars run different amounts under the lobby you're in. Now, a Rocket Bunny will run around what an NSX will run. You'll also... Oh, wow. Hold on. One second, guys. I need to sit. Mm. Dry mouth much better okay but you're gonna want to race these tier four cars because when you are going for cash tunes you know that you can't lose to them and after you win you're gonna want to go ahead and lose what i do is i win one i lose one kind of like swapping except i'm not doing this for rp i'm doing this for cash and if you're on ios well you're much better off now another thing is if you're not sure what lobby you're in, the first race you do, lose it. Just lose it. Go ahead and lose it and find out and make sure that you're in the lobby you think you're in. You're in the lobby that your dino says you're in. All right, so for this one, I'm going to purposely lose it. And by doing that, I'm going to just try to get a perfect start, which is a late one. And we've got the perfect start. And you can see how the idle goes low, and I'm not going to use any nitrous. Now, you've got to be wary of the motherfucking douchebags that love to see that you're trying to lose on purpose. And especially with tier 4 cars, they can just idle down to first gear and they're going to be... What you got to do is you got to either turn your internet off really fast or just fly open and shut the app down really quick. We're not going to do that either way, but we've got our loss. And sometimes you can hustle people. Now, that type of race right there, that is not how you hustle someone. Now, knowing your tune and having a versatile tune, such as once I move up into the next lobby, I have a tune that it runs so many different times by using the nitrous in either first, second, third, running the start at the idle without the nitrous, with the nitrous, that I can make it look like my car's running anytime and make them think that, well, they're going to get an easy second win and they can bet against me and I can start hustling them and still have no worries about ever losing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into the second tune. Now with this car, I call this one my agility tune and I'm adding an engine to it. And it's the second fast, actually, hold on, wait, which one? Um, do I wanna use that one? No. See, no, it's not as good. Apologies. Agility plus turbo and intake, drop the engine. Okay, so turbo, we're gonna go ahead and just grab these S6 parts. Nitrous? Nah, yeah. <laughs> you see that nitrous with all that? That is only for the last tune, and that one is when it starts getting ridiculous, and that's when you have just gone way out of your league and gone far too up, and you're competing with mostly tier five cars. You'll still be able to win, but it is risky to run in a tier 5 car that's doing the same thing you are. However, it, I have yet to find anyone beat my best tune. And I have yet to be able to find a tune with any combinations that runs any faster than the one I have. Um, well, combine Adderall and OCD and you get that. Alright, now this one, of course, that's not correct. So the next thing I have to do is tone it. And I need to go to 258. And of course, I have all these stats written down. It runs at... And I suggest you do the same thing for whatever car you decide to tune or if I do a free to play one and you want to just copy it I'll have them written down for you set up with all the times that you need and tire pressure goes to 27 and what this is gonna do is gonna put me just over 12 you see I'm staying in that 12 3 lobby and what I know is that now my car runs at 10 7 and change 
if I go max it out. Now, I, I don't want to run it that fast. I still want to stay back. So I can run without nitrous and still win every race by running. I'll, I'll run it 11525, which is a nice safe time. Especially when you're trying to complete goals such as win 60 races without nitrous, which is total garbage. You get crappy fusion parts for doing it, but you got to get it done. So let's get it done and let's be productive while getting it done. All right. All right. All right. I mean, minus you could be swapping, you know, races to get RP and doing that. But are you really earning cash? No, you're not. You're getting RP that's getting you maybe 100 bronze keys, a few gold. And I mean, just it's not worth it. Go out and get resources. Oh, that's a beautiful car. Now, I'm waiting to see if I get a challenge. Now, I'm not going to wait that long because, again, guys, when you are going for the $200,000 bets for every race, you're going to have to wait for them to challenge you. I also, I don't suggest putting 200 k in your name. I don't want someone to know that. One of the tactics I want is I want them to see this right here. And I want them to see this 200,000, and I want the impulse decision. They're thinking right now, ooh, 200,000. Oh, I usually run under the dyno. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. I'm going to take his money. But he's getting hustled, not me. Now, the fact that this is a car that's pretty fast, I want to be safe. So I'm going to drop this at right around two and a half, and I'm going to go ahead and just hit the nitrous first. Again, I'm... Well, not exactly so. There is a second way. I didn't slow down fast enough. When you have a really fast tune, to not run too fast and to stay in the lobby, what you can do is you can slow down at the end. However, that's highly risky. It's much better to know your car's tunes, to know your versatility, and to not be drunk enough and sleep deprived enough not to be able to even read a spreadsheet that's in front of you and know what to do fast enough while commentating a video. However, I got the money. The only time that I have been losing any money while betting is through disconnections. And from what I've seen, if I upgrade my software to Oreo for Android, I shouldn't have any problems. If you're iOS, you're already not going to have any problems. So this is how you make money. This is why you should make money. And again, in the comments, let... Oh, well, I'm going to have to do that while I go ahead and finish this video up for you. Wait. Actually, I'm going to do this. i got to show you the last 10. And I'll go ahead and just totally troll someone and destroy them, hopefully, for, for 200k. It's just fun. Why not? And I'll have to show you later how to get back to your lobby once you get pumped up, which, aka, it's losing a lot, but there's a little extra to it. Now, again, if you're free to play and you're having issues getting through any part of the game, just let me know what that specific issue is, what car you're driving, and if I have to, I will purchase the car, take one of the cars I have, spend the cash I have on it, upgrade it, use the fusion parts I have to match yours, find the two. I, I will cater to you guys to give you what you need. Basically, comment, and I'll hook it up. No worries. All right, what do we get here? Gold? Oh, Jess, you fucking love you this morning, honey. Yeah, baby, I am loving gold. I have been grinding for gold ever since that La Ferrari Aperta event took me down to under a thousand. Now, luckily for me, the goals have stayed the, the same. Now, I've been told at the update 1.19, which I believe is in two or three updates, I will have it changed. But for now, if I want, I can grind out about a thousand gold a day. Now, you'll see that change after I grab. Hopefully, I'll get some gold one options after the 50th win which wait go back jesus i'm terrible right now at least i'm not as bad as i was playing cc jesus i'm terrible at cc it's it's amazing that i play a game for so long and i end up being so bad after not playing for three years i mean it's like a new game though i got a theory that cc has decided to instead of making a beta for cc2 well they probably maybe have one they're using the first CC as a beta where they can make a shit ton of money for CC2 because it's coming out soon. We'll see if that's true or not. Or maybe that's just a crazy sleep deprived junk in theory. Who knows? All right. You see that's running 11773. Of course, we're going to have to change this one quite a bit. And 
this is going to be one of the max tunes which is all the way down at two tires are going to go down to zero now one of the things that i have noticed is when you drop your nitrous back you never want your nitrous to go back farther than the time that it's going to take you to run the race minus about a second all right so we're going to hit i believe it's, there it is 12308 and i might have been bumped up for winning a couple in a row since I didn't, well, no, I didn't, I should lose one, but if I get another challenge, screw it, I don't care, if I get bumped up for you guys, I will grind my way back to the lobby of the 12-3 promised land lobby, but you can see there's a ton of tier fours here, and like I said, guys, this one will run a 10-3 at its max, so it's almost two seconds faster, it's overkill, you never need this tune for this lobby, I'm only showing you this for the versatility that you're going to need when you do get bumped up into the faster lobbies. Because what I do is I run a cycle. I go through and I stay in the lobbies as, and I keep the same tune as long as I can, being safe to make sure that I keep 200,000 race bets guaranteed. I never lose. I'm never going to lose a race bet unless I just totally mess it up. Now he has 116,000. I'll do that. Generally, 100,000 is the cutoff point where I won't race someone. Okay, yeah, figured he's not going to race him. Now, one thing I've noticed is that if you get, if you challenge two times in a row and they don't accept that back out, otherwise that's when the disconnect glitch happens and you don't get to race and you lose 200k. Because that's the only time I lose money. There we go, we got the bet. As you can see, guys, for whatever reason, the 12-3 lobby, people love to give me, they love to donate money to me. They really do. Now on this one, you gotta jump earlier. It's right after two, it's the two between the one, and boom, and nitrous is instantly. And from there, the shifts can be sloppy as hell. It's really not gonna matter, and I'm not gonna slow down. This guy's actually running pretty fast. I believe I've been bumped up a lot, or he has a money tune, and he thought he was hustling me, but he is getting hustled like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, he, he had a money tune, and he was thinking he was gonna have an easy win. But he just got destroyed, and he's like, what the fuck is that guy running? I'll take my keys, I'll end this video with a bronze crate opening, and talk a little bit more about a theory that I have, that if you take a few days off, your odds on getting better cars, better crate drops, go way, way up. Now you can see, I hate that, I hate the, the live races one. Yeah as well as the nitrous one getting the parts no good but you can see per 60 launches that can be done quickly and real quick i'm going to add one more thing to this video because this is a tip that if you don't have the gold and you really need the gold you don't want to spend the gold to get 60 perfect launches you really just want to grind it out and get it find your car that is easiest for you well for me i love this one the 570 VX is actually the first tier 5 car that was good for me and it's also my best perfect launch car. Go into your tune and what you're going to do is, it is important, pay for the dyno time. You have to look at this first, otherwise it's not going to count. Now go to test drive and all you have to do is start the test drive, get the perfect launch, back out, and then rinse and repeat. Go back in, do it again, and you can do it 60 times in a row and you will end up with the gold. You don't have to spend gas to get it. Now see the reason I like, oh my God. Now my, all right, hold on. Let's boost out a bit. See, this car is really actually easy for a perfect launch because it's dead center one drop. I mean, that's about as easy of a drop as you're ever gonna get for a tier five car. And I totally just failed miserably on that one, but I'll get it right here because I'm actually gonna pay attention. All right, dead center one. There it is. Perfect launch, and let's go ahead and quit it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, now, like I said, you can do it as many times as you want. It's a grind, but it is a way to get free gold without having to watch ads. So let's go ahead and back out of that. La, 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 la. Let's go, let's go. We're going to finish this up. One last crate. All right, so let's take a look just to show you. Perfect launch. So you can get them all without spending any fuel. Now, when I moved a few weeks ago, it was the first time in this game that I didn't play for two days. And I ended up 
rolling or opening bronze crates, getting, I believe, six S6 parts that were useful for cars that I have. I mean, that's just insane. The odds of that are far beyond anything that you would expect. Now, that's a car that I don't have. It's the first S6 part that I've seen in ages because I've been playing daily. I've been just grinding the hell out of this game daily. That's actually not too bad. Is that the R8 that I need it for? Woo. We have to take a look. Maybe like you guys. All right, fine. We'll take a look. All right, let's 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 see. Because the R8 LB version, which is a sick looking ride. Please be the LB version of the R8. Yeah, baby. Nitrous and tires. And if that's the prize car for this one. And I might even just soup it up because I do have... A decent amount of Audi Fusion parts, and that's a car you can buy and just strip to hell. So, anyways, guys, that's it for this video. And remember, if you have questions about anything free to play, I will do what I can using this account to cater towards figuring your free to play problems out. That's it for this one, guys. Sand 7 out.